hey and welcome back to another video on the channel today we're going to be setting out a blueprint to enable us to create a road for a cars to travel without further ado let's get into this first create a new blueprint class hector name it bp road open it drag it to the top pin it head over to the components click on add search for spline component we're going to be using the construction script so that we can just drag off from the pins on the spline to create new rows whenever needed. After renaming the spline component, go over to the construction script, drag in the road component, drag off from the newly dragged in components, search for get number of spline points, drag off from the return value, search for subtract the operators set the number to two drag off from the construction script and search for for loop down by the flow control just make sure everything is nicely aligned drag off from the subtract function add it to the last index by the for loop just move over get some space drag in another Road component drag off from the index for the for loop and add component set that value to one but like not zero one just one then from the road component drag off and search for get location and tangent and spline point just drag it out the way get some space copy and paste it two of these drag off from the row component and add that to the second one drag off from the plus and add that to the second one point index from the for loop drag off and add that to the point index from the for loop again drag off from the execution pin and search for add spline mesh component this will um, this will then make the the road on the spline right so you have to use the spline mesh you can just add this instead and then we're gonna head over to the track open up the sm track we're gonna need to find out where the forward x is for the mesh on the one is provided by unreal it's already on the x forward but if you have your own you might want to go check and then change it accordingly so that the whole thing works properly and then from the add spline component drag from the execution pen or the return value and search for a set start and end and then from the return value again drag off and search for a attach component to component and then from the start and component attach the execution pins drag in the default scene route and then connect that to the attach component to a component parent and then that should be it for that part. Now we go over to the add location, tangent, spline point, drag the location tangent and add it to the start and end. And then the second one do the same and add that to the end positions. And then just drag over everything, add a comment. This will be road construct. And then we head over to the row component and then we just define which one will be used. Will be for the start and the end. It will tell blueprint with start and the end of the spline is supposed to be then we head over to the viewport and then just drag the component to the middle it will just make it easier for when you're constructing the road because if it's on the end the way it curves is kind of a bit weird but if it's in the center the curves are a little bit easier to handle and then add a new actor component and then we could just repeat the same thing we did by the BP road. I'm gonna add a spline component again, and then just go and copy the entire code, just drag over everything, and then just deselect the default scene route, the road component, and the construction script because the other blueprint has its own. And if you drag in and leave it as such, it's not gonna work so just 
do that and then when you get over to the other one you copy and paste it drag in the barrier component and the default scene from the new blueprint and then just connect that up and then just by the add spline mesh component just going to change that to the sm cube mesh compile and save make sure to compile and save by the bp road as well and then just add in the bp barrier and then cover the area we had created in previous videos with the landscape when you get to the corners you might want to rotate the spline by 45 degrees because otherwise you're gonna gonna create some weird artifacts and such which don't look nice so if you rotate it by 45 degrees it looks it looks just it looks splendid looks like it's one thing and then add the bp road and construct the road of your choice just at each spline point you can just alt click and then drag off and create a new 